I remember there was a time when someone told me that oh, you haven't spoken to me. I mean, your business would have been long in a, you would have been like long reached greater heights if you spoke to me. It was a time. Mm. And I was like, man, this is the person I've been looking for. And he told me that, do you still remember I helped you on the first scandal? And I was like, do you still remember how quick I brought back your money? Oh. And he was like, yes, thank you. And when we continue with the conversation, this person says to me, uh, 40,000 rands is not much money, and I want to give you that. Mm -hmm. And I agreed, and I was, in, I was in treatment, I was in my treatment at that time, I was diagnosed of depression and anxiety because of this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was on uh, antidepressants. So when this person said that to me, and I was like, you know what, let's just meet in Delhi. When he borrowed me the first money, he sent it through my bank account. Okay. But for the second time, we have to meet in a certain hotel in Delhi. Okay, he's from here? Yeah, he's from this side. He's working at that bank or he's working around here or... No, I, don't want to, like, or... I don't want to like expose a lot of information okay. because I know this podcast will reach a lot of people. Yeah. And even him, maybe. <laughs> no, so it's fine, but yes. okay, yeah. I'm not trying to, to hide the yeah. perpetrator. Yeah, yeah. But, but you sometimes, if you are not strong enough to utter the words, you rather keep them. Because yes. it's not something that I want to fight for, that I want to fight correctly. Because yeah. I still have a lot in my plate, there's still a lot that I'm still fighting. So even on parliament, because then you know, we, we can't ignore the fact which they declare on parliament. Umari does, and the young girl, I instill a problem to my children. For instance, why is Kazan's when the president of Muswada? Umari Mati, Umari Mati, why she was not? Because she was a good woman and capable woman for a position, but she was never. Because as an adamin zoom. I mean, I think the thing I explained that before, Uti, men will always wait at the door for powerful women. They want to destroy them, nothing else. Uh, this thing of patriarchy, of men wanting to beat everywhere, <laughs> of men, <laughs> Of men knowing that everything is owned by them. Mm -hmm. Of men knowing that their voices will always be heard and not ours. Has been a norm for quite some time. To an extent that they are still young guys. Typical Zulu young men. Mm -hmm. Who still believe that Angege give a confess. You are not saying something bad. But all you are asking for is to be treated fairly. And to be treated equally. Like him, you know, and yeah, now so to get a time, I interpret it the Boloba, you want to be the man. That's where the problem starts. They always think that we want to be them. They don't understand that we are very powerful. We have our own power. We always have our own mind. We have our own leadership skills in us. So they don't want to grant us opportunities fairly because they are afraid of who we can become as a Sri because we can change the world into a better place. There is no powerful being like a woman. You know, a woman can multitask. Mm -hmm. One, she won to be a president, but just because it's South Africa, it's always be South Africa. You understand? So it was the first time, uh, I, I, I can say, just coming with local lands in the world, to see Mungus Fazane. Uh, and I'm hoping that the people who are who 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 who
I hope that this is a 